In this video, we will factor more quadratic expressions in the form ax squared plus bx plus c with a equal to one by analyzing the graph of the related quadratic function. Where if we have the quadratic function in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can write the function in the form y equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the zeros. These zeros are the x values that make y or the function value equal to zero, and therefore we determine the zeros by determining the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts of the graph. Just remember when graphing a quadratic function on the coordinate plane, the graph is a parabola, and when we go to look for the horizontal intercepts, there are three possibilities. We can have two horizontal intercepts as we see here, and therefore we can have two zeros giving us two binomial factors, or if the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back as we see in this graph, we only have one horizontal intercept, but because of the behavior of the graph, we call this a double zero, and therefore we let r sub one equal r sub two, which in this case would be negative two, giving us two of the same binomial factors. And the third case is we have no horizontal intercepts, and therefore we have no binomial factors. So going back to our example, to factor x squared plus eight x plus 16 using a graph, we graph the corresponding quadratic function of y equals x squared plus eight x plus 16. Now looking at the graph, notice how we only have one horizontal intercept, which is this point here with the ordered pair negative four comma zero, but because the graph touches the horizontal axis and then bounces back, we call this a double zero. So to write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, we now know that a, the leading coefficient, is one, and because of the behavior of the graph, r sub one equals r sub two, which is equal to negative four, which means the given expression can be written in the form of one times the quantity x minus negative four times the quantity x minus negative four. Simplifying, we can leave off the one and x minus negative four simplifies to x plus four. We have two factors of x plus four, which we can write as the quantity x plus four squared. So the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial because we have two equal binomial factors. Next we have x squared minus 25. To factor this graphically, we graph the corresponding function y equals x squared minus 25, which again I've already done here on the right. Notice how we have two horizontal intercepts, one here on the left at x equals negative five, and one on the right at x equals five. The ordered pairs for these points are negative five comma zero and five comma zero. To write the given expression in the form a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, a, the coefficient of x squared is one, let's let r sub one equal negative five, and r sub two equal positive five, which means x squared minus 25 is equal to one times the quantity x minus negative five times the quantity x minus five. Simplifying, we can leave off the one. X minus negative five becomes x plus five. And then we have times the quantity x minus five. This is the effective form of the given quadratic expression. I hope you found this helpful.